<laughs> oh my gosh. It's finally happening. We're doing it. We're doing this. We're playing Earthbound. I've been wanting to play this game since I first made my first YouTube channel, which was like... Was it Z-Man and Friends? I mean, it's... They're like... Well, I made like six videos on there, but I didn't take it that seriously. I'm gonna delete this, because I don't even know what the fuck this is. Oh, I'm sorry if I cuss, by the way. It's just who I am. I'm Zion. I, uh... I want to play VG games on the interwebs. So that's what I'm gonna do. For now, at least. And I wanted to play Earthbound ever since I first made my first YouTube channel. I don't know why, I just, I just wanted that to be my first game. I'm gonna be lazy and fucking let them keep their original Nintendo game given names, because who wants, who, why would I make the time and effort to make a pretty funny joke throughout the entire thing? I mean, you got the names right there. I mean, look at this, who? They already, they, they got you, they already got you a fucking humorous name, so I don't need to make a humorous name. They named one of their people Pooh. I could've just put shit, but I don't think they would allow that. Favorite homemade food? Um... Shit. Fuck it. Hold on. Uh... There we go. Bacon. That's simplistic. Favorite thing? Um... Let's see. Um... Fuck, man, I'm wasting too much time on the menu. I I don't even... I did not plan this out. I'm, I am apologizing right now. I, I don't plan this out at all. Also, I have never, like, beaten this game. So, sorry to tell you this. This isn't going to be, like, like a 100% one. What are they going to put rocking? Uh... Uh... Fuck it. Titan. Why not? Alright. It'll make sense later on, trust me. But I did not plan this out, and... I've never beaten Earthbound. I've played it, like, probably like, halfway through, but I've never, like, 100% completed it. And there's not too much I remember about it, which is weird, because I want this to be the first game I played, but I have no idea how to even beat the whole game yet. So this is sort of like a semi like blind run. So I'm gonna try to get like as much as much stuff as I can, but this I can't promise it's gonna be a hundred percent run. Eagle Land. Always thought this based off e England. But anyway, if you don't know what Earthbound is, he Ness. This is what that kid with the cap from Smash Bros. come from, which is what most people know him from, which is kind of sad because this is a pretty good game. It's a basic RPG, but it's not like all fantasy and dragons and magic and stuff. It's kind of like just based off of human shit. So, anyway, I'm Zion. Uh, uh, I got some friends who will be on this channel from time to time. In fact, I've got a video that was going to upload with one of my friends. But it's going to be me sometimes just by myself. Sorry if you were expecting, you know, one of the other guys who would be here, or gals, whatever. It's just me this time around. But you know what? It's, it gives us the time. It gives us a chance to get to know each other, for fuck's sake. It's like, take me out to dinner first before you just stick your hands in my pants. For fuck's sake. Alright, so you go in your sister's room, you get, a, you get the, your first weapon, which is a crack bat. And they're all complaining about a noise they just heard, which we're going to go outside and investigate. Because, why not? We're an 11 year old boy. We got the nuts. We can do this. We don't even got to tell mom. See you later, mom. I'm leaving the house. You know, it's 2 a.m. Well, uh, let's see. I'm just going to go this way. What do you have to say, Bob? I'm talking to him. Get your butt home. Yeah, fuck you. Yeah, I give no fucks. I'm talking to him. Meteorite has landed. The sharks are running wild in town. Sharks? Since when do sharks have legs? <laughs> okay. Alright. So this is my first video, if you couldn't tell. But, I'm gonna give it my all. Because that's, that's how a true hero does it. Don't you know what time it is? I really don't, man. If y'all would tell me, that would be great. But, um... I also am an artiste. 
and I have an art channel. Not an art channel. No, not yet. But, fuck, I just, like, that's like a sneak peek. But, I do have an Instagram where I post my art, which I'll leave in the description box. Which, you know, I wouldn't say I'm, like, the best, but I haven't been told it's, like, complete shit or anything. Or at least not yet. But, that'll all come up, because what I want to do, my dream, is to be a comic book artist. Or sort of, like, you know, manga-style comic books. Which, you know, I know that's, like, a very tough thing to do in this day and age. Especially, like, to start from the ground up. But, I mean, it's, my philosophy is more like, I'd rather try and fail than not try at all and just, you know, fucking live my life wondering shit. If I had kept going with that, could I have actually done it? I'm not even talking about the fucking game. I'm just talking about myself. I'm fucking, what's the word? What's that word when people care about themselves more than others? Uh... <laughs> I don't, by the way. I'm not a complete piece of shit like that. I don't usually care more about myself than others. Uh, what's that word? What's Dr. Eggman in Sonic? He's, uh... Fuck! Dude, I'm not even gonna talk about this game until I figure out what the hell I'm, what the hell that is. Uh... What the fuck is it? Oh, I'm getting mad! Uh... Let me think. He wouldn't like me when I'm mad. Um... A narcissist, a narcissist, I think that's it. I don't even remember what the fuck I was going with that. I know, Ness, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So the meteorite fell. Oh shit, I forgot to get that present. Oh well. So the meteorite fell. The police are blocking the way. So you, you know, not surprisingly, they're not going to let you go over to the meteorite and check things out while the police are investigating it. So they all just tell you to go fuck off and go home. Which our mom's waiting outside for us. You know, not mad as I'd expect her to be, and just says, go off back to bed. Ness is a, he's a pretty cool character, though. I like Ness. Later that night. Oh, gosh. Also, if my audio quality isn't that good, sorry, but I'm going to try to get a better microphone eventually, if it's not good. I hope it is, though. Okay, so, wake up. Hear this fucking annoying ass knock at the door. Don't you hate when you're going to sleep and someone starts knocking on your door and it's like, fuck! No one else is gonna answer that shit? So mom is like, right next to the door, but she's like, fuck that, you answer it, bitch. Cause that might be my fucking, that might be my drug dealer, Tyrone. Nope! It's Pokey. Pokey's your. I was gonna say friend, but he's more like a. Acquaintance. He's like one of those friends that you don't really want to talk to, but he always tries to talk to you. But you're just like, you know what? He doesn't have many other friends, so I'll I'll at least acknowledge him. Cause Ness is a cool kid like that. Anyways, he's saying the police have left. His brother Picky went up to the cliff side with the meteorite and hasn't come back yet. And he's like, can you help me go get him? Um, I really want to say go fuck yourself and go back to bed, but I will. Let's blow this popsicle stand. I forgot when this game came out, but uh, I'm gonna assume somewhere in the 90s. That's a good bet. She said, "Get the crack bat, your crazy boy." This mom is really chill. Like she just lets you go out at night. It's like, take your bat, take your strap. If you, some some fools try to post up on you, fucking post them back up. This mom is like a fucking badass. We already got the crack back, we put our clothes on, cause you know, clearly the adventure's about to start, so we might as well be prepared. We can actually take our dog too, cause he's like, the dog is chill too, he's like, fuck it, I'll come with you. I don't got shit else to do. His name is King. Sorry about giving you this game type of advice, but you should equip your weapon. You fucking, don't fucking tell me what to do with my weapons, you fucking pleb. But actually, but I should get my, I should have quit my bat. So in this game, you can go to your goods, which all I have is an ATM card, a crack bat, equip it. I don't have shit else on me. My status, I'm at level one, and you can check shit. There is a button to automatically. Oh, there you go. All right, so now, okay. Now the phone's ringing. 
That's the phone. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? No. Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. I know that you're brave. You can do it! Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. I can make a record of your progress when you call me. Oh yeah, I deposited $30,000 into your bank account. Do you have your ATM card? Withdraw your money from any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. What? Well, the father of a hero, at least. Slam. Wow. It's almost as if the parents know you're a video game character and you're about to start on your quest, because they seem to give no fucks and are giving you a lot of expositional advice on how to, you know, do your adventure. This is the first enemy, a spiteful pro. He's kind of annoying, because he's like actually the quickest enemy in the area at the moment. He like dodges attacks pretty well, which he just fucking did! And I just missed too, for fuck's sake. Some enemies though, they... The enemies in um, Earthbound are kind of interesting in the fact that sometimes they won't even hit you. They'll like, they'll waste a whole turn doing something completely unnecessarily useless. Which is kind of funny and adds a lot of depth to them, but it's also like kind of counterproductive for them. But I mean, it gives them their own character. I can't hit this fucking thing! Good lord, don't let me die to the first crow in the game, for goodness sakes! Oh gosh, I almost died to the first enemy of the game. That's that's not a that's not a good sign, man. That's a fucking bad sign, dude. Okay, so we already got this shit being out of by that crow, so we're gonna eat this cookie now. Which didn't really do much. But yeah, some enemies will like like you'll find an enemy and it'll just be like random dancer just starts dancing and it's like, okay, he's not hitting me, so good for me I guess. But don't let it fool you though, this game is like actually kind of fucking hard. By evidence of me almost dying to this fucking pro. Because he keeps dodging my shit! Okay, come on man, don't do this. Why does he keep dodging my shit? Oh, by the way, Pokey is the most useless, like, he's the most useless character you'll ever have with you. He doesn't do anything. He'll literally spend most of the time crying, complaining, or literally just not giving a fuck. I fucking died. I fucking died to the crow. To the fucking crow. Okay. We're gonna We're gonna get back to where we just left off. Oh my gosh. Yeah, fuck you! You ain't fucking dodged that, did you bitch? Fucking cracked your fucking skull open. And I'm gonna take your fucking cookie. Dumbass crow. Don't fuck with your boy Ness. Stupid ass crow. <clears throat> anyway, we need that again. What was I saying about the enemies, you know, fucking around? Oh, okay, the snake. The snake's pretty simple. He's like the weakest enemy in the area. He does like the least amount of damage, doesn't usually dodge, ever. And you can usually take him out in two or one turn, so he's pretty good. Yeah, see? But, also, the music in Earthbound is fucking good. I don't know who the composer is, but whoever he is, shout out to that guy. Or kudos to him. Because that, the music is really good in this game. Alright, Runaway Dog. He's, like, the strongest, but also not as bad as the pro. Holy shit! Yes, yeah, smash. Fucking smash! That's a My Hero Academia reference. The smash is like the critical hit of the game. Like, basically. Oh, nice. There's so much shit to explain. It's like the critical critical hit. It'll come randomly. I think if you have, like, a good amount of luck, which you can level up or something like that, the smash will come more often. But anyway. Also, if you go behind an enemy, the screen will flash green. Which means that you kind of snuck up on them, and you can like, you know, get an get a free shot in at the first beginning of the of the thing, of the fight. Good lord, commentating. Hardest thing I've done. Not really, but it's still pretty cool, pretty fun. Oh gosh, a lot of runaway dogs here. But yeah, the runaway dog is like maybe the strongest, but only in terms of like. Persistence and like the de defense. The crow is still the most annoying enemy here to me. 
just because it dodges way more often than all the others. The dog just, you know, he dodges sometimes, but I mean, he just the most persistent, I guess you could say. He attacks the most. The crow will, like, give you a free shot when he starts grinning or some shit. Damn, level three. We're fucking kill. It, holy sh shoot. No, I'm not gonna censor it. Shit! It's fucking. That's like 12 HP? That's like a whole HP bar, man. Damn, dude. These fucking dogs are everywhere. Whose dogs are these? Just like. Just walking around fucking Ness just has a bat in his hand, just beating the shit out of dogs. I mean, technically, they're all like going crazy because of something that we'll get into later in the game. But still, that seems kind of brutal if you just walk outside and watch a kid just smack the fucking smack a dog upside the head with a fucking bat. It's like holy shit, this kid is unhinged. But I'm sorry to say, folks, I think we're gonna end it right here on this cliffhanger. We're gonna save. Wait, what? What? I want to come along. I'm out of here. No, you're like the only one who does anything. Alright, well, on that sad note, next time, we will probably investigate this meteorite, save Pokey's little brother who looks like he's, I don't know what the fuck he, I don't know what the fuck he's doing over there, but I'm gonna leave that to him, and we're gonna come back in part two, and continue with this mystery of the meteor, Picky, Pokey, and Pooh. Thank you for watching. Once again, I'd be very grateful if you checked out my Instagram with the fucking... Oh, shit! Oh, I just gave away the fucking... Now you know it's on Virtual Console. Damn it! No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. I don't keep secrets from y'all. But thank you for watching. We will... Please look at my Instagram for my arts and shit. Because it's, it's mainly my main dream is to be a comic book artist. But I also like doing this. But this will be like, basically that's why I call it free time. Because when I got free time, I'll do this. But thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you, you know, I actually, you know, entertained you or did something to your life in some positive way. You know, that's, that's my main goal. As long as something positive comes out of this video for you, then I've done what I wanted to do. But, um, comment, let me know any other games you want to play. I will be able to play PS3 games. I was thinking about playing the Batman Arkham games, but I don't know. Um, anything else? I don't know. I don't really have an outro for this yet, but like a, like a saying, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.